What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you my current favorites. I am back and better than ever. By the way, Michaela Wegner just made this video, my best friend in the world. But I got some of my favorites. I already have the video idea on my phone. So I was like, I'm going to do it. Michaela won't mind. Anyways, let's get right into it. I want to start off with the fragrance I've been wearing most over everything. This is my Ami Glow from JLo. Oh my gosh, you guys. Literally, I've used so much lately. I have 3 billion fragrances, well over 150 fragrances probably in my collection, maybe even more. This, nothing beats it. Not one fragrance. Kathleen Lights actually put me onto this. She made a video with this years ago and I was like, no, it can't be that good. It's a celebrity one. You guys, I'm not kidding. Life changing. This is giving sexy beach vibes. This will be the perfume for summer. And I'm telling you right now, if you haven't tried it, order it. You can order offline. I think it's like 20 bucks. It is the most long lasting, beautiful thing. Three billion compliments. Not one person has ever said they don't like it. My boyfriend is obsessed with this stuff so i've been wearing this like crazy 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 okay the next one i have to show you is also a perfume but affordable this is pink sugar and because lately i've been having like some health issues i've been mainly just chilling it's just the most beautiful fragrance ever the packaging i love don't worry i know it's yellow but that's just what happens with pink sugar i don't know why it goes from like white to yellow weird but I wear this all the time and I used to mix it with a lot of fragrances really lately I've been just wearing it on its own because this packs a punch and it's so so long lasting so for body sprays I want to show you this is forever red now this is a sexy Swedish fish babe babe get out of here right now this is beyond stunning it's perfect for summertime, during the day, a sexy night out, you will get so many compliments. I could see this, like you're first talking to a guy or girl, you get taken out on a date, you want something that's different, sexy, beautiful. This is the fragrance for you. I'm telling you, it's amazing. Now, what annoys me is the red dye in here. So do not spray this on white clothes. Just just avoid just do it on like your neck sides your neck your wrist like stuff like that all right next we're gonna do is get into some makeup favorites so let's start off with face products i've been loving especially because the weather is getting a little bit warmer this is the beauty blender skin tint it is amazing samantha nicole here on youtube she's amazing i love her videos put me onto this stuff it is lightweight but the best coverage i've never had a product that is so lightweight but that has the best coverage ever it's amazing and you could wear this in the sun you won't get all like sweaty you could wear this literally whenever and i love it like i love it love it love it you need it in your life Next, I have it on right now, and this is the best foundation I've ever found in my life. Literally, like, I swear by that. It, I have it on. It's just so perfect. So it's very lightweight. This is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. It's very lightweight. It's not super glowy. It's definitely a satin finish, which makes it very easy to add glow. I love satin finishes because, okay... I'm going to be real with you guys. Even if you have dry skin, if you get too much of like that, like, I don't know, super, super glowy look, it doesn't wear well. You want to put on like a powder highlight or a liquid highlight in certain areas because that will make it stay longer and just look overall better. I know some people with the clean girl aesthetic, like they don't set their makeup as much and stuff, but I promise you like the way your skin looks at the end of the day, like becomes so different. So just just invest in something like that. I never in my life spent money on high quality foundations and it's so crazy because it's so worth it. This is the best concealer I've ever tried in my life. Hands down. The Huda Beauty. I have it in two shades. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. Nugget? Nugget? <laughs> Nugget? What am I saying? Um, this one and a super light one but I can't find it right now. It is brightening. It is such high coverage. It says that it is a like glowy and matte concealer in one. It doesn't make sense. It's definitely like 
a different consistency than I've ever used. Super lightweight, but it really packs a punch. Like, it's so brightening. Like, it literally is amazing for my dark circles. This is outstanding, amazing, beautiful. Now, I have two powders to show you guys. I never again thought I would invest in a little bit higher quality powders, but I have. So this is the Huda Beauty and Sugar Cookie. I dust this all over my face. I don't put this on under my eyes. I just do like a light little, you know. Then I use, which I didn't buy because it was sold out forever. Then I bought it, the Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom. It's pink. It is so brightening. It's insanity. It just gives the most beautiful look and it blends into your blush so seamlessly. I've never seen anything like it and it's 110% worth the money. Like I swear by that. Okay, let's get into my current favorites of blushes. So this is a Say um, Cream Blush in Chili. I have it on my cheeks right now, which I'm gonna show you the combo. It's amazing. It's definitely a very different consistency than the Rare Beauty ones, which I'll show you. But this is just beautiful. It's not too mauve I have found that I don't like too mauve of cheek colors. I was super into like that baby baby pink look with like Thrill by NARS and whatnot. But as of lately, I like like a pink like this, a little more natural or like a peach. So this is perfect and glowy, not overly glowy. A super interesting consistency that I really, really like. So next is Joy, and I actually never thought I'd buy Joy. I never thought that it would look good on me. Changed my mind. Really have truly changed my mind. This is outstanding, and I love, love, love to mix it with. And you guys would never think they look good together. I'm telling you, it literally looks like a better Charlotte Tilbury uh, pink asm. Literally looks like a peachy version of it. It's so good and long-lasting course way more pigmented and you really can control it also i've been loving these on its own this one specifically mesmerized it is just the most light weight product ever this one is deep throat <laughs> that freaking the names of their products are insane it's this color oh my god it has a little bit of shimmer i have it on today with the say um liquid blush it's outstanding and way better than or, or <laughs> I can't speak it is way better than their um like most famous famous blush in uh, what is it called <laughs> yeah I don't want to get like flat but yeah also I've been loving this is a duo and when I finish it the bronzer I'm gonna get it on its own Laguna it's just better than anything it's better than Hoola it's just for my skin tone it's outstanding right now I don't have it on right now but it's amazing. This is Willa from Benefit. It's, it's too good. It's literally too good. And it has a little bit of a sheen to it. This is a soft neutral rose color. That's what it says on the back and it's really true. Now, lastly, the last highlighter and blush. This is the most beautiful packaging I've ever seen in my life. Any product has beat it. This beats it. This is uh, pillow talk which is super neutral really great for a look where you don't really know what blush to reach for this one gives me like a light raspberry and they both have like a sheen to them so you don't always have to use highlight these highlighters so natural it's like a little champagne -y one this is similar to mesmerize a little bit pinky it's that's all I have to say it's just gorgeous gorge now I'm gonna show you guys this is the rare beauty highlight in mesmerize beautiful i have it on my nose and my cheeks right now super super lightweight by the way you guys know i have a disease so it's hard for me sometimes to open products and i really give it to rare beauty for taking that into account with people with disabilities um it really helps because sometimes i won't be able to open a product i'm like fuck i can't use it today anyways this is the lighter one and listen this is very bright i'll use it as like a little highlight in my eyes or I will just use the tiniest bit or on my nose the way it reflects oh my god amazing amazing 
I want to talk about my new favorite bronzer. I will always love the Milk Makeup one just as equally as this. Literally equal. But I've been using this more, of course, because it's newer in my collection. This is Rare Beauty in Good Energy. I was waiting for them to put out a more cool toned product because the Always Sunny one just looked way too warm. It just looked like it wouldn't work. This one, I'm looking in my mirror right now, it just fits my skin tone. Like, literally, if you guys use Loving Tan and you want like a bronzer that kind of like matches with it this it's such a lightweight formula which is why i really love rare beauty face products a lot a lot now i'm going to show you three favorite lip products at the moment so this is new to my collection this is urban decay 1993 if you want that typical 90s look which i'm obsessed with as of lately i was super into the really pink pink lips with like pillow talk and pillow talk on my um lips like everything are just super super pink lately i've been like into a more neutral look i don't have this on right now but i've been wearing it literally every day now i also have this is iconic nude i have it on right now it's so so good by the way you guys i haven't gotten my lip injections done yet i am definitely looking forward to it but i have like procedures and stuff coming up for my legs so i'm not really focused on that oh i hate when like you know lipstick goes in the corner of my mouth anyways this lipstick is from charlotte tilbury as well i have it on i've been loving matte lips lately for so long i've been loving glossy now i'm obsessed with a matte lip this is so nude, so be prepared. You need a dark liner on the outside or else it won't look good. But if you got a dark liner, uh, it's, it is, it's everything. Lastly, I have, oh, I love this downstairs. The Summer Friday Lip Balm. Oh, so good. So, so good. The one in like the brown color. Okay, done with that. Now we're going to get into my hair that I've been loving, hair care stuff. Now we're getting into hair care. So the first thing I want to show you is the Pureology 21 Benefits Color Fanatic Best Leave-In Conditioner. If you guys have more fine strands of hair or thick strands or whatever, this will work for you because it's lightweight. It still lets your hair be bouncy even if you want to like curl it. It doesn't just like weigh it down. Like you don't even feel it in. And it has so many benefits I could read on the back. It's like insane. So definitely look up that. I've been loving the Color Wow Raise the Root Thicken plus Lift Spray. I've, I don't have it in today because I just, just did an oil treatment. So I just kind of wanted to give my hair, you know, a break from too many products. Um, and I just spray it, lift it, spray it on the roots. It's so good for volume if you struggle with that. Now, I also have been loving these two products. This is the Redken Thermal Spray. I'll do this on wet or dry hair. And with wet hair, the big blowout. So if you guys really need a um, thing to put in your hair to keep that blowout looking good, they are both heat protectants. Now, I know a lot of people think that you can just use your leave-in conditioner and call it a day or your Olaplex oil. No, it's not enough. Like, there's a YouTube channel called, like, Professional blowout or something um and he like really like has taught me so much about hair and he has saved my hair and it's from not just using this as he protected now lastly this is the jisu or whatever oil i want to get the lip oil but this is better than olaplex and i have to say it i just have to say it i cut out olaplex completely out of my routine i just thought it wasn't it wasn't horrible. I'm looking at my like ends right now. It wasn't horrible. The shampoo was horrific. Um, especially if you have like fine hair, it's just not it. But the conditioner was okay, but I still, I don't know, I felt like it left my hair dry. And by the way, lastly, my favorite shampoo and conditioner are the Orbe, the volume one, and then the black one. So worth the money. So we're gonna get into skincare. I have been loving. Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. It does have a scent, slight scent. If you are very sensitive to scent, don't get this. I love this. It melts right into your skin. If you have skin that maybe when you wear makeup might get oily throughout the day, but you still need that moisture, it's really good if you have combinational oily and dry skin like me. Okay, underneath it, I've been loving to use the Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. It's a serum. It's not too oily. It feels like a dry oil. It's just 
really, really good. So you can apply it in the morning and not worry about like, oh, if I put makeup over it, it's going to be super, super like oily, if that makes any sense. Lastly, I want to talk about is these fan X-I-T-O-N gorgeous lashes and they are half lashes. You can type it into Amazon. Have them on right now. The best half lashes I've ever found and I'm a half lash girl. So um, they really just come in handy and they're like the most beautiful lashes. Way better than Kiss and Ardell. They look expensive and they're just outstanding. Okay, my loves, that is all my favorite stuff. I love you all the absolute most. Thank you so much for watching this video. Before I go, I want to leave you guys off with a little message of encouragement. Today, I want to talk about when you lead people to God, you will have no idea the blessings that will come out of it. So there's a story in the Bible where this man is sees Jesus, and he's saying, Jesus, Jesus, you need to come heal my friend. She's been blind for years. And Jesus goes with him. He heals her immediately. She now can see. And everyone's just flabbergasted. Like, oh my God, no way. Now, the man who went and found Jesus to heal her, he had knee problems. So it was very difficult for him to walk because he was in a lot of pain. But he focused on leading that woman to God, having that woman get healing over himself. He could have been like, Jesus, heal me. He goes to the man, he goes, walk her home. Basically saying, like, get her home safe, walk her home. He was like, okay, knowingly that he had leg issues. And as he turns to walk away, his leg issues disappeared. Disappeared. And it just shows, he turns around and he's like, Jesus, like, oh my God, you just healed my legs. Which is my dream. Um, and I have faith in that. But on a bigger scale, it just shows me. You know, I, throughout my suffering and my pain, it's important for me to bring other people to God because I want them to have this too. I want them to know the answers too. And I want them to heal just as much as I want myself healed. And I pray every night, you know, for everyone suffering with diseases, anyone suffering with ALS, anyone who is fighting depression or thoughts and different things. I know how hard that can be or they're lonely without friends and whatever that may be. Focus on bringing people to God because you don't understand that will strengthen you so much. And God sees that. God sees your love. God sees that it's important to you. Feel that in your spirit to help others and those blessings you will reap. And don't just do it for the blessings for yourself. Mean it in your heart. Jesus knows your heart, but you have no idea what's going to come out of it. So I hope that story gave you um, a different perspective um, when you're praying and really dwell on that because we have hardship, but we also need to focus throughout that pain, finding purpose in the pain and leading other people to God. Whether you're in a store and someone helps you find something, say, God bless, have a good day. It takes one moment. It takes one second. One time I said that in Ulta, I said to her, have a good day, God bless. She goes, wow. She goes, God bless. It sounded in her voice she needed that. It sounded like, oh, I don't hear this. Thank you. It, I could just tell by her spirit. So you don't know who you're affecting every day. So I want to encourage you guys to spread his word. I love you all so much. I cannot wait to talk to you guys in the comments. You guys are my world. I love you the most and have the most beautiful day. There are so many blessings on the way and so many blessings right in front of you. You just haven't realized them yet. I'm being stupid, just my limit.